Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am bringing you another weekly love read. All my readings here on the channel are general, so just take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't apply. Should you require something a little more specific, then feel free to reach out. All the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section below. We're just going to dive on in and get started, Aquarius. We're going to take a look at the recent past, present and incoming energies. Then we will take a look at your energy, the energy of the person that you are dealing with, connecting to or thinking of this week. And then towards the end, we will draw an advice card for you as well. Don't forget to show your support if the reading is is speaking to you or resonating at this time first card coming through is the six of pentacles okay then eight of cups eight of cups and the death card oh big energy at the bottom of the deck the hermit okay so i feel here aquarius that um one of you walked away from a relationship or a connection that just ultimately, you know, left you feeling dissatisfied. Um, I feel that maybe there was something missing in this connection for you. Um, I feel that you were wanting something that was equal give and take and perhaps you were not getting that. Okay. Um, I feel... Yeah, it rolls reversed, okay? This could be you, this could be them. I say you because I'm reading for you. Um, but I see an ending here. So in the recent past, I feel like there was an ending. It could be because this person just shut off, okay? Or it could be with the moon card here that this person kept secrets from you. Or maybe this person just um, held back emotionally from you. They were emotionally unavailable, I'm getting here. We've got Cancer Energy, Pisces Energy, Virgo Energy and Scorpio Energy. So it could have been either of those signs. Uh, but I get strong message here with the Eight of Cups and the Death card that someone just walked away. Okay, someone just closed the door. Um, someone was feeling unhappy, unsatisfied, unfulfilled. Okay. I see these eight cups too. Maybe too much damage was done. Okay. So let's look at the present energies. We've got the world card. We've got the three of cups. So I feel like with the world card presently, Aquarius, um, you're sort of maybe getting back out there again. You're putting yourself out there. With the three of cups, I feel like some of you may be just getting um, back on the dating scene. Uh, whether that's done through dating apps or just the old-fashioned way, you know, just going to a bar or socialising, mingling, meeting new people through friends, through, um, you know, work collabs or, yeah, something like that, right? I see lots of um, good times here in the, I want to say in the recent, yeah, in the present energy um, but just be careful. You've got the devil here, so you could be overdoing it and the full card. Okay. So I feel in the present energies that with the devil, there may be a strong attraction to someone that you meet this week. Um, it could be that this person is obsessing over you or you are obsessing over this person. Okay, with the full card here, we could be dealing or connecting with a strong Aries energy, but I feel like this is a little bit risky. Okay, um, there could be a new beginning on the cards here for you. Um, this could also feel exciting. So I don't know why with the devil and the full, I'm getting like bad boy, bad girl energy. It could... Um, I want to say it's probably not the most, how do I want to word this? Um, it's like when you meet this person, you know, you will know straight away that they're not your ideal partner. However, there's something about this person that you're still tempted by. 
okay, even if it's just for a short time. You might look at this person and go, they're like a fun time, not a long time kind of a person. And I feel with the Son of Cups, like you like each other. Okay, you like each other. The feelings are mutual. The feelings are high. However, Four of Cups, mm, you know, it's like, mm, not really sure. Not really sure about this person, but... In the meantime, I'm going to have fun. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to have fun. Okay. For others of you, you're connecting to somebody who could just be more of a, um, a friends with benefits situation presently. Okay. Let's take a look at the incoming energies. We've got the five of wands. We have the three of wands. Five of Wands, Three of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. What's underneath that? The Tower. Ace of Pentacles, so there is a, a new opportunity coming in for you in the incoming energies. And I feel like whatever this new opportunity is, I feel like it's it's like a wish of yours. Okay, a wish is coming in for you, something that you wish or desire for yourself. There's a there's a huge opportunity coming in regarding this wish or desire that you have. It could be something that you have envisioned for yourself for quite some time with the three of wands here. I see this as a vision. It could be something here that you've been waiting for for quite some time as well. And I feel like it's finally coming in. This five of wands um, confuses me though. So... I don't know if this is like many people, it's like a feast or a famine, it's like all of a sudden you're open to more options. I, f I feel like these five ones are like options. But let's just clarify. Two of cups. Six of cups. This could be regarding someone that you have a special connection to. Six of Cups could be closer to home, could be closer than you think. There could be someone reaching out here, someone that you've waited to hear from for quite some time, Aquarius, in the incoming energies. I feel like this person with the Two of Cups in reverse may be someone that you have haven't been talking to for quite some time. Look, we've got the Emperor energy here too. I feel like maybe there was a falling out or a separation or there was too much drama here with this person, but it's like things are turning around with this individual. Let's take a look at your energy. Uh, mm. You're the bee and the starfish. So, yeah, I'm just getting... I feel like I'm connecting to an Aquarius that is star energy right now. You are the star card and you're coming through as the starfish and the unicorn. Look at this. Wow, that's big, big energy right there. The B to me represents someone who is uh, feeling social right now. The B is like B, buzzing, high vibing, you know, the star, you're getting noticed, you're getting recognized, you're getting seen. Um, mm, and the unicorn is like all your dreams are coming true.
but it's something like there's someone here that is noticing you as the unicorn. Someone that you mingle, connect with here is seeing you as someone very special. Almost like a dream come true, almost like a fantasy. It could be that a fantasy of yours is coming true. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the energy of the person that you are connecting to. It's like you really don't have to do too much, but other than put yourself out there, you will be seen by others this week, I feel. You will be seen by others and sometimes pain motivates people. So I feel like with the bee spirit here, I'm feeling the stinger. And it's like you've been stung, you've been hurt, but that's like a motivation for you to get back out there, get back out there. It's not, something's not going to let you down here. Something's not going to hold you down. Uh, the person that you're connecting to here is coming through as the wolf. And the mouse. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the rabbit. I feel that the person that you're connecting to could be older or mature, but there is a nervous energy coming through this person. Okay, there's someone here that is keen on you, who is interested in, in you, but they're also very nervous. Um, yeah, maybe they're just nervous that you won't like them. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sort of almost getting like secret admirer vibes here. This person feels attracted to you here with the cheetah. I feel like this person is very independent by nature. Uh, but there, there's a nervous energy. Maybe they're just coming in like trying to appear like their best or put their best foot forward here. I feel like this person has been through a number of experiences in their life with the wolf. Okay, maybe they've had a few lessons or experiences themselves. But I feel like this person that you're connecting to um, this week doesn't want to sort of like F it up for themselves. Because I think they really like you here. I feel like this is a new energy. Okay, let's grab an advice card for our Aquarians. Advice card for our Aquarians. Ooh. Okay, too many cards. Let's do that again. Advice card for our Aquarians. There's the five of wands again. Ah, <sighs> Knight of Pentacles. I don't know why I wanted to look at the bottom of the deck, but I did. So, I feel like you don't want any drama. Any, any, anyone who brings drama into your life, the advice card here with these two is like, I don't want drama. I'm not interested in drama. So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles, he's halting that. Okay, he, he doesn't take action. He's not taking action. His horse is staying still. And it's like the advice here is you are not willing to give this pentacle or you're not willing to take anyone serious here who brings sort of drama or trouble or conflict into your life. So leaving the drama and the conflict in the past and sort of leaning towards someone who is a bit more reliable and dependable, someone who's a little bit more steadfast, which I kind of sense it with this person. So 
So hopefully that was helpful, Aquarius. Uh, feel free to show your support if you got something out of this. And until next time, take care.